What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus not on feet because these are not in my size so I guess just regular review of the limited edition Rose Gold New Balance Tequila V1 Pro made specifically for Rose Lavelle who plays for the women's US national team and basically this is her own personal signature colorway worn exclusively by her throughout the entire Women's World Cup. We've actually seen New Balance do stuff like this in the past. What they've essentially done is they've produced the exact variation of the Tequila V1 Pro that Rose Lavelle herself actually wears down to the exact size. So the reason why I can't show you these on feet is because they only made them in her size, which is a men's size 6 US, which would be the equivalent of a women's size 7.5. So if you really like this boot in this particular colorway, if that's not your size, unfortunately you're out of luck. And I guess that's a bit of a shame because I really think this is a great looking colorway, but at the same time, the collector in me really likes the fact that they made them only in one size and being that this is a signature model specifically for her, the fact that it's her size, I think is actually kind of cool. Either way, I want to take a closer look at all the little details on this particular boot in today's video and also point out what's different versus the retail variation that you can actually buy, even though you can buy these as well. Which speaking of that, if you're interested, in a pair for yourself i'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below that's going to take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy now links with exclusive sr for you coupon codes where you can pick up these super limited boots below their normal 260 dollars retail price if you guys do end up enjoying this video and perhaps would like to see more videos on pro issued football boots don't forget to support this one with a like and i'll try to make that happen also if you're new here watching for the first time and don't want to miss out on daily football boot content from me make sure you hit that subscribe button along with a little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. So included with the boots is a box. But more importantly they also include a string bag that is kind of the typical New Balance string bag with the NB football logo there on the front. It's a white bag with rose gold branding obviously to match the colors of the boots and it does have the strings at the top so you can close up the bag once the boots are inside. It's a decent string bag but definitely nothing groundbreaking. It gets a string bag rating of 479 out of 594. As for the boots themselves, you might remember the Otruska pack, which was actually the very first colorway that we ever saw of the New Balance Tequila, which at the time was the 1.0 Pro. They've now changed the name to V1 Pro. That launched at the 2018 Men's World Cup. So in celebration of the Women's World Cup and Rose Lavelle obviously wearing New Balance boots, they've given her her own signature colorway, which is kind of like that Otruska pack featuring a white base, but instead of a chrome red accent, they've gone for rose gold, and specifically rose gold because her name is Rose Lavelle. Very clever New Balance, but I have to say the rose gold looks very good. This is an underutilized colorway in the modern football boot industry, I would say. Just looks very cool, and of course this is a chrome wearable finish on the sole plate. You also find rose gold accents for basically all the New Balance branding on the upper. The N on the lateral side, the New Balance branding on the medial side, and then the little details you'll find around the pull tab the tongue, as well as the Tequila logo there on the insole. Also, because this is her own signature boot, they've put her personalized uh, customization on there as well, with her last name, as well as the American flag. And then something else you'll find on a lot of pro-issued boots is a custom size tag, which this also has. You can see it says 6D, which refers to the size and width, D being the normal width size. And then it also says diamond, and you're probably wondering why it says diamond. Yeah, I don't know. As for the boots themselves, the upper seems to be identical to that of the retail variation, having the kinetic stitch upper, the one-piece construction, the exact same lacing system, the memory foam insert in the tongue, the same pull tab, even the same heel liner. So the internal construction as well seems to be pretty well identical. The sole plate, however, is what kind of caught my eye. And even from this side profile, you can see there's some extra curvature, especially around the heel, that has a sole plate reminiscent in look at least, to the uh, hyperactive, not the hyperactive, the hyperstability sole plate found on the current Nike Tiempo model. And uh, I'm not sure if this is a scale thing because I believe they do make the regular Tequila down to a size 6 US. Maybe that's not the case though. So if you have a smaller pair of Tequilas, I'd be curious to know if this has this sole plate because what a lot of people don't take into consideration when it comes to making boots bigger and smaller, the most common size is gonna be a size nine to 10 US. That's typically why you see sample sizes as a size nine, it's the most common. But as you take 
the materials and the design of a football boot and you make it bigger or smaller, you can only make it so big and you can only make it so small until certain things need to be modified in order for everything to function properly. In the case of a sole plate, if they take a regular sole plate design that works fine in a size 10 US, but then they shrink it down to a size 6 US, it's possible that it'll be too stiff or it won't flex in the right spots. It's just something that they have to take into consideration when designing a football boot. And based on what I can feel, obviously I can't try them on. This seems to be a slightly stiffer sole plate, but it still flexes in all of the right spots. Uh, the stud pattern for the most part is pretty well the same. At least it's the exact same layout. And it even maintains small elements like the little toe pick, even though that is slightly different as well. Personally, I actually think that this sole plate and stud pattern looks better. The studs are slightly longer than what you'll find on a typical FG New Balance Tequila, which I think is a good thing. Um, and overall, it just looks quite good. I'm I'm a little bit jealous that they don't put this on the regular model. Now, pretty much in all my reviews, I weigh the boots and I'm gonna weigh these even though they're a size six US. And that is simply to point out something that a lot of people don't realize when it comes to the weight of football boots. I often get asked why I mentioned the size of the boot prior to wearing it. Why does that matter? Well, because the size is directly connected to the weight of the boot. A bigger football boot will weigh more, a smaller football boot will weigh less, even if it's the same model. So, we do know that a New Balance Tequila V1 Pro in a size 9.5 US, my normal size, weighs in at about 8.1 to 8.2 ounces, where the size 6 US that I have here, granted with a slightly different sole plate, it weighs in at a mere 5.8 ounces, the equivalent of 164 grams, which is ridiculously lightweight for a pair of football boots, but they're very small, only a size 6 US, so that shouldn't be too surprising. So in conclusion, as a hardcore football boot enthusiast, I really like releases like this. I love being able to get exactly what the pros wear and having those very small modifications on the retail variation just to have in my collection. And it would have been cool to offer this in bigger sizes as well with this sole plate and stud pattern. But at the same time, the fact that they only made it in one size and it is so limited is also really cool just as a collector's item. So I'm happy to have them in my collection and the Tequila V1 Pro in general, if you're just looking to get a pair for yourself in the normal colorways that are available in every size, I think it's one of the most slept on football boots currently available. Truly one of my personal favorite. I'd probably put them in my current top five rotation boots because I really do like them that much. Either way, if you guys are interested in these or a regular pair of Tequilas, you can click the first link down below. That's gonna take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. You'll be able to pick these up below their normal retail price. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to support it with a like. That helps me out tremendously. If you have any questions regarding this boot, leave it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well other than that guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one